School districts all over our area have, and the state have been working on plans for the upcoming school year after the Texas Education Agency released its guidelines for reopening. That includes Clear Creek ISD, which is now holding a meeting after releasing its plans. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez live in League City with those details. Kathy? Good morning. Right now, as you said it behind me, Clear Creek ISD leaders are holding a virtual meeting to address concerns from parents about their plan to reopen school. It is right around the corner. We're only weeks away from the start of the school year. Dr. Greg Smith and his team at Clear Creek ISD have been working around the clock. It's been a real challenge, but it's uh, something that we're excited about, and we're very, very hopeful that we could take these lemons and make some lemonade out of it. The district released their reopening plan yesterday. It'll extend the school day by 10 minutes to allow students and staff time to clean and disinfect. Also, students, staff, and visitors must wear face masks as mandated by the state when social distancing is not possible. It's hard for me to wear a mask for eight hours, so I expect the same from kids and staff so that they have time to take mask breaks as well. Leaders are working to maximize space in classrooms. The district is also encouraging parents to drive their children to school. If it's not an option, though, students must wear face masks at all times on the bus. Buses will be cleaned between routes and at the end of each day. It'll mirror a typical school day. And when they go online, uh, this is not a vacation either, okay? So this, when they go online, it's real-time learning. Whether you're in the classroom or at home, Dr. Smith says it's time to get back to school. Being able to see people and, and work with people, I think, is really part of the fabric of our society and our democracy. And the district is also sending out surveys to parents, and they have until August 4 to decide if their children will go back to school or not. This first day of school is set to be August 18th. Reporting live in Lake City, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Kathy.